don't wait until you're almost in a car accident to put your seatbelt on. You don't wait until you fall off your bike to put a bike helmet on. So why would you wait until your child was potentially more at risk to get protected? It's the conversation pediatrician Dr. Denise Drago has with patients when it's time for children to get the HPV vaccine. This vaccine isn't really about sexual activity, which I think is what a lot of parents are concerned about. It's really about cancer prevention. And if you could prevent your child from getting cancer, you would. HPV is short for the human papillomavirus. It's the most common cause of cervical cancer. Children can get the vaccine as young as nine years old to help protect against the spread of HPV. And HPV also causes like anal and genital cancers. It can cause oral cancers. And so that's really what we're looking to prevent. Children under 15 years old receive two rounds of the vaccine six months apart. Children who are over 15 years old get three vaccines. So we give it to girls and boys. The idea for the boys is they could have other types of cancers, but also they are potentially spreading that disease to the females in their life who could potentially then get cervical cancer. If children are already exposed to HPV, the vaccine will not reverse the disease, but it can still protect against other strands of HPV. I think the biggest thing is you may read and hear things that are not necessarily true. And so if you have questions, we really want to have an open and honest conversation and I want you to feel comfortable with what you're doing. Making it important to talk to your child's pediatrician if you have any questions about the HPV vaccine. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton.